All right, welcome to another episode being brought to you by the Audio Newsroom. I'm your host, Mitch, and today I'm going to be going over a request from one of our readers that was wanting to know more about app-to-app MIDI, specifically GarageBand and Sample Tank Free. I downloaded GarageBand and I could not find anything as far as setup any indication that it could send or receive MIDI. None of the apps that I tried would actually see GarageBand, so I don't think that's actually possible. But Sample Tank can receive. I don't think it can't send, but I know that it can receive. And if you look right here, if you just click on parts, I'm not too familiar with Sample Tank. This is the first time I'm playing with it today. But channel, you got the electric. And you got channel four, five, you just click up at the top, and that'll change the MIDI channel. And what that is, is basically MIDI is Musical Instrument Digital Interface. It allows apps and hardware and software to connect via MIDI, whether it's a hardware cable like... like the old 5-pin MIDI, or whether it's USB, whether it's virtual, or whether it's uh, USB or wireless. Um, it's just a kind of a set of standards that say, hey, if you send a CC message 7, make it uh, do the volume. Or... You know, you send a specific note value, it's going to be that note on across the board. Now, there's a thing called SysX messages, which is specific for a program or a piece of hardware to allow the hardware to be controlled in a more elegant fashion. But as far as apps go, not a lot of apps will really have the SysX. And there's another one, Program Change or PC and not a lot of apps have that integrated as well, but that was, like, allows you to select a certain, like if you had um, some drum pads, you could set the drum pads to to do program change, and you could change your presets, um, which would help out, you know, just the workflow and stuff like that. But <clears throat> back to app-to-app -to -app connectivity. The biggest thing I can say is to, you have 16 channels, instead of going Omni, which is sending them out to all channels, I would select a certain channel. Usually, channel 10 is reserved for drums, and so it's kind of one of the MIDI standards built in that if you have a drum track like MBS 16i, there's a drum track on channel 16 or on channel 10. <coughs> Um, but, uh, and so you just make sure you are sending out to the, um, specific channel and receiving on the specific channel. As far as sample tank goes, I can't select what channel or what device I'm receiving on, except for on program changes. I just, this has background audio. That's another thing. Make sure background audio is on because you don't want to run into you have your MIDI set up correctly, but it's not working because your other app's background audio is turned off. I know Sunriser and Magellan both, if you load them up, not inside AudioBus, neither one of them's background audio is on by default. Um, you may be able to go under app settings. Um, under the system settings and change that but just always make sure background audio is on make sure you're sending to a specific channel that just helps with bleed over that way if you're triggering trying to trigger one app and you have multiple apps open it's not triggering all the apps um, but in the case of sample tank I can't select what in app I'm going to receive from. But if you take an app like not there, 
music drum jam if I go to MIDI setup then I can see accordion I can I don't see an input from sample tank which to me indicates that sample tank cannot send MIDI it can only receive MIDI and so I could do I could send the clock to sample tank and I could send note output which is supposed to be drums but you can also hear in the background kind of the you can hear a sound from sample tank as well because I'm sending the note but if I take that off then I'm just getting drums from drum jam so Makers of Drum Jam have done a really good job. Same thing with uh, Thumb Jam, and uh, they've done a really good job with MIDI. Um, and so that's basically so I can do in channel, out channel. Just make sure they're set to the same channel that you're trying to send and receive to. So let me close out. Let's close out that. And let's go to, I just bought Genome today, or yesterday. Um, and so we can go back to Sample Tank. The electric guitar is on channel 1. If we wanted to select the drum, it's on channel 4. We can go ahead and put that to channel 10. So we can scroll down to track 10, which is default to channel 10. We can change that, but we can just add just a basic drum pattern and hit play. And then track 1 had the electric guitar on it. Genome is controlling sample tank. And it's just as simple as if you go under settings, um, MIDI. Since Genome is a MIDI sequencer, it's pretty much default to send out to everything, but I only I only check what I want to actually send to it. That way I don't get arbitrary notes on other on other apps that I have open. Um, but it's not limited to um, genome. You know, there's there's other music. Let's see, music tools. This is kind of an interesting one. Fifth, fifth degree uh, MIDI. No, it's not saying anything. Let me see if it's gonna work. It's sending it. Oh, there we go. Send it to channel one. If we want to send it to channel ten. You can see on. Sample tank is receiving on channel one to play the electric guitar. Kind of an interesting little circle of fifth kind of app. Ah, stop, stop. I've noticed a few times where if you're playing, if you're sending MIDI notes to Sample Tank, it actually um, somehow holds the notes, um, which is kind of annoying. Maybe why well, I've never used Sample Tank before. But that's what the user wanted. Um, but it's not limited to Sample Tank or any of the other apps that I've showed. If there's any other apps that you want to see um, connected together, if I have them, I will do my best to you know, make a quick little video showing how to connect the two apps together. And, um, and if you'd like me to go into further apps uh 
Um, or go into controlling CC messages with apps like BeatMaker or Genome, which can all send CC messages to control different vol different um, parameters inside the app. So you can do have sweeps going up and down and um, all that fun stuff. Just um, comment below the video and uh, just let me know. All right, this has been Mitch from the Audio Newsroom, and I will talk to you later.